This is the moment. UHF is good? Yep. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance. Touchdown confirmed. Oh. Ready to begin seeking the sand of past life. And we see them all celebrating. <laughs> Explain. There's a wow. lot of emotion you're experiencing right here next to me. What are you wow. feeling? Hundreds and hundreds of people have spent the last eight years making this happen. Look at this. What are they going through right now? They knew they could make this happen, and yet when it really does, there's just nothing like it. I mean, this could have been a different day. It's a hard thing to go to Mars. Less than half the missions are successful. And so to make this happen today, it's astonishing. And yet we did know how to do it. And I want to bring in Scott, because Scott, you know several of the people who worked on this mission. You know this, uh, this Mars group quite well. This moment right now and this year, it's been such a difficult year in general for the country and for this team. Can you talk to us about what they have been through to get to this moment? It's been an incredible effort. Kudos to all of them. Uh, one of my grad students, uh, when he graduated, went down and he's been sending me information about the skeleton team that they've been working with, how they've had to do all of this remote working that has never been done before, not with something this complex. So at this point, I know everybody wants to hug everybody else, uh, but they also have to mind social distancing. It's, I can't imagine these conflicting emotions all at the same time. Hey, Gio Benitez, you are at JPL where Hello, this all came from. What Oh, is going on there? How, we just landed on Mars, and <laughs> you're at JPL. Take it I mean, away. I, I, I don't think know all of say. us were just yeah. <laughs> we were just so excited when we heard touchdown, touchdown. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm struck by the name perseverance, right? Because the scientists I spoke to here who were involved in this project and making this happen, they were all drawing attention to that. And they said, remember that name, perseverance, because this launched in July 2020. This launched in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Perseverance, such a fitting name. And the scientists here, that's not lost on them. It, that's why it's such an important mission for them to give people hope. And, and there we see them again, clapping and, and just having such a the time because this mission this mission was eight years in the making they have been working just so hard to make this happen and Katie you're saying the first images are coming in I think that's the first image that's what they're cheering about and what would they be seeing? Mars. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you for that. I've personally never seen Mars. I feel like I've seen Mars. Isn't it amazing? Something like this is, that line is delayed because we're seeing this all. <laughs> well, and I, I heard you, Hakeem, kind of make a, a sound when Gio was talking about the name Perseverance, what this yes, group yes. has gone through mm -hmm. to get here today, right. to see yeah. those first yeah. pictures of Mars yeah. today. Yeah. What, what, what caused that reaction from you? You know, I was thinking all the way back to the beginning of NASA and everything that has gone on and all the people that have sacrificed for space exploration. And here we are now putting our fifth rover on Mars and our first helicopter. It is truly uh, historic, but one day this day will be history, right? And we will be even farther along. Scott Hubbard, we've landed on Mars. Perseverance has touched down and it's sending back images. What's next? Why is this so monumental? They're actually. Well, because it's the beginning of two major things. I mean, this is a two for a mission. On the one hand, it's going to carry instruments around that have never been to the surface of Mars before, that'll look for the fingerprints of life. And then it begins the Mars sample return Activity campaign. Well. And, and those of us who've been in the Mars community well, have wanted to do this for 50 this years. So this is this is huge. I, I can't emphasize okay. enough the, the scientific the importance of what's going to happen over yeah. the next few years. And Katie, I just want to ask you, kind of, what are we seeing there on the screen? So. It was hard to tell, but I think what this is, is an image from one of the, or, the, the um, spacecraft that are orbiting Mars, from either MAVEN or the Mars, um, Mars or MRO, mm. <laughs> Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. And so it took a picture of Perseverance on the surface, is what I think, but we're still, I'm still waiting to get confirmation. Ah. And then Perseverance 
in the immediate future, we'll start trying to take images and send them It back. has to wake up in the right way. It's a pretty time-consuming process, so it can't take its own pictures yet. But uh, one, of the, one of the people said, hey, I'm going to show you our landing zone. Mm. <laughs> it's all very exciting. Just a reminder, Perseverance has landed touchdown on Mars, this mission that started back in July, making a monumental step here. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.